Um, as I started to think about today what to talk about and uh, to give you guys kind of a, a precursor is um, by now you all know why we have this concept of smart cities, rapid urbanization, people moving in. So I won't, hopefully by now, that's a pretty well-known fact. So we won't talk about that. What we'll talk about a little bit is what our customers are faced with in, in addition to that rapid urbanization. What they're looking at is they're looking at a workforce that is graying. Uh, they're looking at, uh, we were with the city of Las Vegas and they talked about how 30 plus percent of their workforce is gonna retire in the next five years. Simultaneously, uh, they're faced with a, just an amazing amount of transition. You've got mobility, self-driving cars, uh, you've got an entire transformation of the transit system, how it works, how they flow together. You have drones coming to cities. Uh, so uh, in, I think in Mesa, Arizona, they're putting up, <coughs> a developer's putting up a, a hotel. There won't be any, uh, when you call for food service, it'll be delivered by a drone is what they tell me. So just think about that uh, as an example. You have the utility industry that is simultaneously facing, uh, you know, a hyper-distributed environment where there's local generations, manufacturing, and, and core customers are going to come off the come off the grid in droves, while at the same time, because of uh, self-driving cars, there's going to be an entire electrification of cities in ways that the charging stations are only the tip of the spear. And oh, by the way, they also have to deal with uh, they have to deal with urban resiliency, right? Flooding that you saw in Houston. Uh, more common everyday flooding in other parts of the city, climate change. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about that anymore, so forgive me. Um, <laughs> all right, good. That's always a joke I'm worried about, so thank you. That was very kind of you all. Um, then, uh, and, and the fires in California, right? So when you look at that, customers are saying, hey, how do I, I don't know where to place all my bets. I don't know how to handle this. We believe you have to put a data fabric together. We believe, we, we agree with Zach about the need to connect up things securely. And we're starting to see customers, and then the next question is, well, where do I get started? How do I do this? And I'll give you two examples. So in Cary, North Carolina, it's a small city. They wanted to do something, 65,000 people, they wanted to do something quite small, quite, quite simple and straightforward. They wanted to learn a little bit more about their downtown. They wanted to learn about who was coming and how to engage those citizens. Uh, they have wireless, so they engaged their citizens and started to get data on it. And then they realized, well, wait a minute, not everybody connects. Okay, so they put video analytics out, they combine the two data sets, and now they get to see where people are and compare the data. So now they get a more accurate, richer uh, economic data set. And then they started connecting up parking spots, and they started to realize that given events, they had oversubscribed the number of handicapped spots and undersubscribed it in, the, in other events. So it's leading to better urban planning, and then they're taking that data to do long-term urban planning because this is the first time they've gotten access to this data in a long, in, in a long time. A another example of a customer using smart cities is, is the city of Las Vegas. Um, and uh, they basically wanted to create an innovation district and encourage folks to come and start jobs in Las Vegas. So they wanted to use, they wanted to serve the citizens and build out an infrastructure while at the same time, they wanted to also treat their city as an open platform so that you as a startup could innovate. And they had some very practical issues. They, one of their issues was pedestrian deaths. They are the number three or four, and forgive me, I, I should know the answer, but I don't. Uh, they're in the top five in pedestrian deaths, so they wanted to take a look at why, what was happening, right? It's obvious when somebody gets hit, but the reality is when they don't get hit, how do we handle it? So we worked with them to bring a variety of sensor types together so they could get that visibility and provide that to the urban planners so they realized that, hey, at this city block, we should put in a new walkway, right? There were a lot of near misses. It doesn't exist today. They never had access. Well, the amazing thing about that is the economic development team got to use that same data and said, hey, wait a minute, there's a lot of people walking here. We ought to really go and engage the business community and bring a coffee shop or a new retailer. So, to me, that's what Smart Cities is about. It's about transforming the citizen experience, the citizen engagement. We'll talk a little bit more in the panel session, but I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what people are doing. I, I think the advice, I, I'm always asked is what's the advice? It's the advice I got from a customer. It's, it's get started. Um, you'll be amazed about how, how quickly you can learn and, uh, uh, and what you can do over time with a little bit of effort. So thanks for having me.